Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're here to do some testing on this device. It's a CardioNet MCOT halter monitor. So it monitors your heart waveform and it comes in two parts. There's a cell phone type device, which you strap to your belt and carry with you. And then there's a pendant that you wear around your neck. As you can see, we've got three wires. These go off to three electrodes that are currently attached to my chest. And this little device is a wireless radio frequency device and it's actually monitoring my heart waveform and it's wire wirelessly transmitting that to this device, which is on the other side of the house right now. So we're going to test our little device with this. So this is a corner electrosmog meter and what it does is it actually reads radio frequencies and we're on volts per meter. Have a look at the display. You can see that we're on the volts per meter setting and it has a little historical graph of radiation levels and it also tells you the actual power being transmitted out of this device in volts per meter. So let's have a little look at what happens when we put our little radio frequency pendant next to the meter. So there we go. So we're getting a red flashing light. Now that red, according to this meter, is in the danger zone. So if you were to follow the guidance of this meter manual, the meter manual would probably tell you to move out of that radio frequency field. So let's see how far away we have to get from this device to get out of the radio frequency field. Okay, so it's certainly some inches. So even with it's about three or four inches distance between the two devices. We're still in the red. So I'm going to actually take it a little bit further away. It's about a foot away from this device right now. You see we're in the yellow and I'm actually taking it about two feet away. So about two feet away, we start dropping into the green zone, which the manufacturers of this meter say is okay. So I'm going to bring it back. Here it is. And we're back into the red. So as you can see, we definitely have some quite potent radio frequency fields coming out of this device. And that was the purpose of this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. If you want to find out more about what radio frequencies can do to people, You'll find it in curing electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Thank you.